Hey Squidlings, Katie here. Welcome back to another Art Snacks unboxing video. Today we're going to be unboxing the Art Snacks for the month of July. And I cannot wait to get into this. So if you're interested in Art Snacks, I will have a link down below as well as a description on what Art Snacks is. Um, if you aren't familiar, Art Snacks is a monthly subscription box that you get in the mail every single month. They come with four to six full-size items, um, ranging from like pens and pencils to sometimes small pieces of paper, etc. Uh, they don't really have a theme or anything, um, they just kind of pick some art supplies and some of them kind of go together. But for the most part, it's just like some cool subscriptions. It's like Christmas every month, it's really nice. Our snacks is $24 plus free shipping if you live in the United States, and it is $24 plus $10 shipping if you live internationally. So yeah, it's really not that expensive, um, and for the most part, you get what you pay for. So anyway, without further ado, let us just open the box and uh, let's stop my jibber-jabbering. So first off, I like to always get this card out of the box and set it to the side so I can reference it as I go, and I also don't really like to be spoiled on what is inside. Next thing is the snacks part of the Art Snacks box, and they actually included a Laffy Taffy. Um, I'm probably going to pass this on to somebody because I do not like banana flavor. I like bananas, but not banana, banana flavored candy, so uh, we got that. And then, of course, as always, we got the Art Snack sticker. Oh, and this month it's like a little watermelon pattern. Oh, it's adorable. <laughs> Alright, and then everything else in here are the supplies, so let's just dive right in. So first off, we've got, let's just take this out of the little Ziploc baggie. Ooh, we've got Violet, which is really nice. This is Aqua Ink by Graph, uh, oh, it's by Marabou. Uh, this is Marabou Graphics Watercolor Ink. Very nice. Bye. Let's try that again. <laughs> Then we've got a, oh cool, we haven't uh, had one of these in a while. So this is Grumbacher watercolor paper sampler. Um, so yeah, it's just four sheets of watercolor paper and like a bookmark size. And then everything else is in the green tissue paper. So I'm going to set the box up and we're going to open this. So we've got three supplies in here, and I'm going to go over them one by one. So first off, we have a Molotow One for All acrylic twin marker, and it looks to be in red because the whole thing is red. Um, of course, the tips are white because I haven't exactly gotten them primed yet, um, and then they are the same tip on both sides, at least this one is. Uh, but yeah, but they're both bullet tips. One is a fine tip and one is a thick, chunkier tip. And as with all pump action markers, you're going to be shaking them and then pumping the tip to prime them. Um, I will do that a little later. But for now, let's move on to the next art supply. The next one is a Copic Drawing Pin F02. Oh! Oh, okay. It's like a little fountain pen. This is really cool. I've I've heard of these, but I've never actually used them. I thought they discontinued these. Maybe they didn't. Um, that's really cool. I'm very excited. I think the ink in this is black, if I'm not mistaken. And then the last thing in the box is a Weber Museum Emerald uh, paintbrush. I got a Bright, which is this like square shape. Um, so and it is a number six. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, so here is everything that came inside the box. Um, I got a couple of interesting colors, so the graphics watercolor is violet and the Molotow is red, as well as we've got black, so I'm really excited to kind of see how these colors will work. I actually really like red and violet together, so I'm excited to kind of play with those. Um, if you got the Art Snacks box and you got a different anything in the box, so maybe a different color, maybe a different brush shape, leave a comment down below, let me know what you got. Uh, but if you didn't get the box, uh, let me know what you think of the box, um, like the supplies and stuff in the box uh, down below as well. I'd like to hear from you. So now I'm going to go, as always, into an illustration, and I'm going to talk about these items as well as 
obviously make an art piece and hopefully do some really cool art. Maybe I'll make a bookmark type thing out of it. Who knows? So anyway, let's head over there and do that. Okie doke. Time to get into the swatches. So I'm going to be showing you all the supplies in a sped up format as always. And I'm just going to be kind of demoing them out. So first off, we're starting with the Aqua Ink by Marabou. And I'm just using my uh, water brush to just kind of, um, you know, paint this on and I let it dry and it reactivates really nicely, which is great. Um, super great color, uh, really like it and it flows really well in water, which is nice. Next up is the Molotow marker. It's an acrylic marker, but if you, like before it dries, it can be activated with water so you can get different washes that way. Uh, I do like the dual tips. I'm not a huge fan of uh, acrylic markers, but this one was really fun to play with. Next up is the Copic uh, marker and I really liked this one until it stopped working for me and then I got really frustrated but it was nice until it stopped working and lastly the paintbrush I really like the paintbrush and I'm really happy with the type I got I like this bright it's really nice so now on to the art so I did a couple of pieces of art I wanted to make a bookmark because I I don't know I like making bookmarks so um, I used the Molotow marker and got it wet with water to kind of splash out the effects and then I dabbed in some purple to give kind of like a cool marbled effect and then I let it dry and I add some words with the Copic marker it says my book or my schedule is booked because it's supposed to be like a, a pun. Uh, and then I use a Uniball Signa from a previous Art Snacks box uh, to highlight everything so you can see it. Also, P.S. There will not be a video on Monday, so I'm sorry in advance. I'm going to a convention this weekend and I didn't have time to uh, pre-film anything, so I'm super sorry for that, but expect a new video next week on Friday. Everything in my box equaled up to $31.18, so that is $3.99 for the Marabou, Marabou Ink, $10.25 for the Molotow Marker, $5.95 for the Copic Pen, um, and then the paintbrushes were between $5.99 and $10.49. I actually found a website and mine was $8.99. Um, and then they actually added a sample item, which is a bonus, the Grumbacher watercolors. And I added a couple bucks for that just because um, they don't really give a price breakdown for that. So I kind of, yeah, I kind of made my own price up. Anyway, I think the box was really nice. Most of these supplies I probably won't use again. I'm not a big fan of acrylic markers. I love the paintbrush. Um, I love the ink and obviously the uh, Copic marker doesn't even work for me anymore so I kind of can't use that but it's not a bad box. It was really fun to play around with but um, it's definitely not one of my favorites as far as items go just because most of the items I'm not a big fan of but I did create a piece that I was really happy with um, the piece you're seeing me paint right now I'm really happy with the way I painted it it's very messy and it's what I would love my watercolors to just kind of turn into just the flowy look of it I don't know I really like it so um, we're about to look at the final two items so here is a look at my final art piece and then here is a look at my final bookmark. I don't know if I'll sell these or not, but I I would like it. I'll keep it for myself if anything else. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already to join our cute little squid pod. And until next time, my adorable squidlings, toodaloo!